Oh yeah, and welcome back. My name is Zoe Black, and today I'm gonna show you how to light like your photos and videos for your content and social media, and how to go from lighting like this to this. Okay, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so if you're gonna film somebody like for an interview or something of the sort, usually you're going to use like what is called a three-point lighting system, which consists really of a key light, which is like your main source of light, a full light to fill in those shadows on the opposite end, and then uh, either backlight or a hair light to kind of give some shape and outline to uh, the subject that you're filming. Now for me, for my purposes, I am only using one light and that is my main key light which I position kind of here which is round about uh, you can say at your two o'clock on my right uh, and that is giving me all of this beautiful soft uh, glowing light uh, across my body which is also creating all these dramatic shadows here uh, on the side as well which makes for really really interesting uh, filmmaking and photography so when you're positioning your light uh, for what looks like uh, dynamic or cinematic lighting uh, you're wanting to create a little bit of that drama that you're doing in the shadows now i've positioned my light uh, upward and to my right so this is sitting at about uh, my two o'clock uh, and it's pointing down uh, at me which is creating all these beautiful shadows uh, on my left side which is creating all kinds of drama and scene. Now the nice thing about having your softbox positioned uh, where mine is at the moment is that you're gonna get some nice catch lights in the eyes right which is like this little bit of uh, light that's being reflected off, uh, off my eye from the key light and so that really brings your eyes to life um, it creates a sense of life uh, for your character, the subject that you're filming, uh, particularly for people uh, because, you know, the eyes are everything, yeah? Now I'm using a Arclight Softbox uh, Studio LED light, uh, which is effectively attached to a, um, a stand which is positioned uh, kind of just overhead from me. The key light is pretty much at like a 45 degree angle uh, at my two o'clock and shining down and creating all this drama and this beautiful light. So this is a soft box and what it is doing is it has a diffuser in front of the LED light which basically just softens all of the light and doesn't make that light so harsh so you get a lot better even lighting uh, in your videos. So one of the things that you want to do is when you're setting up your lights, you want to make sure that your key light is as close to your subject as possible to give, you know, maximum light uh, on your subject. And my light that I have is not dimmable, right? So you do get some lights that are dimmable that you can adjust the, uh, the brightness of that LED, but mine isn't. So if you have a light that isn't dimmable, what you can do is you can just either bring that light uh, closer to your subject to uh, light it a little bit more, or if that light is a little bit too bright, you can position it a little bit further away from your subject uh, and that should adjust the lighting accordingly. And then you accordingly adjust your settings in your camera to compensate for either too much or too little light. Yeah, so if you don't have studio lights, one of the easiest ways to film your videos is to use daylight, right? So find yourself like a massive window like the one behind me here and then basically position yourself kind of where this key light is sitting in relation to this window and film yourself in front of that window. So if you position yourself uh, correctly in front of where the light is coming in, uh, you're gonna get some beautiful, beautiful uh, lighting in your videos. Daylight is really, really amazing to shoot with. Just be careful though, if you are shooting in daylight, uh, if you tend to shoot uh, more lengthy videos, uh, as the sun is going to move, uh, that might affect uh, how your subject or your shot is being lit. So be mindful of that, uh, particularly when you're filming in daylight. Uh, I use daylight all the time when I film, uh, particularly things like the vlogs and stuff like that. Obviously you're outside and so that's amazing. Uh, but I would prefer to always shoot in front of a light if I can because I know uh, that that source of light is going to be constant so that uh, when I go to edit my videos in post I don't have to constantly worry about who is the exposure right or uh, do I need to adjust the ISO on my camera every time uh, because the lighting has shifted during the course of the day. So one of the things that you can do uh, is use some of the lights that you have around your house particularly things like lamps so as opposed to using uh, your ceiling light which creates all the light that's coming from you know like top down uh, which is really unflattering and doesn't look great at all uh, use uh, lights around your house use your lamps 
uh, to find, I guess, a kind of dynamic way of lighting your shot. Um, what I did was I went to Boulder's Warehouse and I bought an LED floodlight. And I went on to uh, take a lot and bought a, what well, is effectively a diffuser, but you can also use a, uh, things like a shower curtain, uh, I guess like a white fabric cloth to place in front of your light and that's gonna soften the light in the way that it's doing right here. Uh, and I used to shoot the vast majority of my videos at home uh, using that LED floodlight and a uh, diffuser. Yeah. So if there's one thing I can really recommend you getting uh, for both uh, studio and for daylight uh, photography and videography is this thing. Which is pretty much a reflector. I don't know how you pronounce this brand. I think it's Godot or Godox, right? But basically this is a 5-in-1 reflector that comes with a diffuser, right? So this is a highly reflective surface. This one is uh, gold on the back which is going to reflect all the uh, the warm tones right so if I just position this nicely over there ah you get some full right uh, on this side of my face right so the side now isn't as dark uh, but if you take that away then you get this more like dramatic effect uh, to your images which is amazing so I highly recommend getting this thing you can buy this on take a lot I think it's like 350 rand and so it comes with a diffuser, you can see that, and this is what you put in front of your light to really soften uh, that really harsh light if you're using something like an LED um, for, your, uh, for your lighting. In addition to the warm reflector, it also comes with a silver reflector which will reflect uh, all the cool tones as well. So depending on what you're needing for your shot, uh, you can use this thing, it's really flexible. I actually carry it with me wherever I go. It is the most amazing uh, thing that I have bought in terms of lighting, I mean, aside from this thing. Yeah. Another way to potentially light your subject uh, and create even more drama than this is to light your subject from the top down. And it looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot, like it's, it's, it's very dramatic, so all the lighting is coming uh, from the top down. Uh, this is like a technique that's like used to like create all kinds of like drama, you'll see this in like particularly like scary movies, uh, thrillers and that kind of stuff, and this is, creates a really menacing thing because it creates all these shadows around the eyes and here under the neck area as well, it's very, a lot. So this is an amazing setup, like uh, particularly if you're wanting to film uh, like products on a flat surface uh, Product photography is great like this if you want to shoot any uh, Thing top down you want to position your light nice and evenly uh, Directly above uh, the subject that, that you're filming. So for me, I don't like this. This is a little bit too much uh, Can we change this back to where it was please? Okay, cool. I hope that was helpful uh, That was a really quick tutorial on how to light yourself or another subject uh, using only effectively one light Mm. As always, if you've been enjoying this content, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. I think that's good. I think the boobies are fine. One of the things that I can actually recommend. Okay, apparently it's still rolling. Okay.